Good afternoon traders, this is Tony D from the Easy Market Stealing Room, just ahead of the trade war announcements from uh, US tariffs about to begin in one and a half hours. Uh, we are going to uh, see if there's any market reaction. Unfortunately, this is very wildly uh, expected now, so the market may not move uh, too aggressively. In fact, if the market doesn't go lower, then you can see there's a strong chance of, of being a short squeeze as uh, sell the room by the fact uh, begins to, to come through, especially on pairs like the Aussie. Uh, if the world doesn't end as these announcements come in, uh, then yeah, potentially the market will be caught short. So uh, we're going to be watching the price action on the uh, stock market in China, the Chinese Yuan, uh, and the Aussie dollar in particular to see how uh, sentiment is faring. Uh, but right now, we're not seeing much movement, and what we're looking for is not only China's reaction uh, to these tariffs, but also uh, the U.S.'s reaction to China's reaction, which should come later in the U.S. session or over the weekend. Uh, if things are going to escalate and get out of hand here, uh, then the rhetoric uh, will be a big part of that, and how they uh, respond uh, both with their words and with actions is going to be pretty key for how this unfolds whether peacefully or we have uh, further aggressive uh, trade action against uh, China and US or just US in general against the world. Uh, there is uh, a little bit of risk on sentiment from yesterday as it became, uh, as, as news leaked that Germany was looking to uh, remove tariffs on uh, US uh, imported cars and that would also uh, lead to the US not having to put the tariff uh, that they're threatening on US, uh, on European cars imported into US. So negotiations are ongoing and there are ways forward, even for China and the US, uh, but it looks like China and US aren't speaking much right now on this matter, and um, pretty much China's stuck into, they're not going to be threatened, uh, and so they will protect their, their companies. Uh, so we are looking at uh, what's going to happen here. Aussie dollar is pretty stable right now. Uh, still we are early though, One 130 is when those numbers come out. After we get out of this and we move past this, then the market might start looking forward towards the uh, US NFP. Uh, it forecasts 190,000, and always a, a big number. It has been very uh, stable and strong for the last six months, though, so shouldn't expect it to come in uh, much less than that 190,000. Um, if it does, though, it could be a little bit of a shock uh, to the markets, which are very long US dollars still. Um, but if it comes in strong, uh, that wouldn't be too supportive of the US dollar as that has been a big part of it. What would be interesting would be the average average hourly earnings component of the jobs numbers. See if there's any wage inflation. That would be a bigger mover. Uh, jump in wage inflation could see uh, could see analysts start to price in further rate hikes uh, quicker than, than currently the market is pricing uh, and would be what the Fed is looking for uh, to allow further rate hikes and inflation in general to pick up in the US. If you want to have a chat about the trade wars and the implications there, please come through uh, on the numbers below. If you want to have uh, a chat about NFP and how to trade NFP as well, uh, we can look over what happened last uh, last month and just generally what you want to be setting up for. Uh, there is a lot of whipsawing in that market. Uh, if you're not a member of the Easy Markets Dealing Room, uh, you can sign up on the link below and uh, get a deal like myself to assist you.